What is up goons? Today I want to show you guys this video. Talk about it. A uh, pretty good matchup shows where Shaco can shine as a support. And that is when the enemy team goes almost full AD with 4 out of 5 being melee. So Shaco support is a disruptor. You know he's got his boxes. And in this particular build that I go, add a little bit more extra CC to it. Becoming a big pain in the ass. Specifically, uh, we'll see to Renekton, that guy. He's probably getting mad a lot. So let's go ahead and clean this up a smidge. We'll get rid of the chat. No one really said anything. Uh, and we'll leave it like that. Okay, so here we go. I did go Everfrost. Everfrost? No, Glacial Augment. Here we go. Oh, Everfrost is the item I went. I went Glacial Aug as my ruins. Okay, so I'm probably blocking it. Oh, actually, no, my camera's off. So as we can see here, they did an invade at a time we did not know. So can we turn off the fog of war? Yeah, oh, I guess not. Well, they tried to pull a sneaky one. I'm over here. I'm gonna go put this cheese box right here. Just in case, you know, when they help, they come down, they cut across, they'll get some free damage. It's another little cheese box. If you place, place a ward here, can't speak today and you don't see anyone around, you can quickly run out there. So I'm surprised it started red for some reason. And then this lets us know that, hey, these motherfuckers are right here doing that. And I should have placed this box right here. I was under a small assumption that maybe they'll play a little aggro and come straight in at us. Uh, as soon as I placed it, I was like, maybe I should have just put it right here. Because uh, they don't want none of this. Cog level one's pretty strong. If he went W. I don't think he went W though. I think he went Q. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and speed it up. Just some nice laning going on here and there. Good call to go counter. It took him a while, but he eventually got there. Hmm, at some point, Viego tries to come in on us and get a kill. I know he kills Cog, so it's probably right around here. Top dies to the Renekton. Let's see, actually let's, let's slow it down a bit. This is a whole little thing right here. Alright, so we got the double box set up here. We know they both jump in, right? Especially, there it is, boom. With the exhaust going out. Flashback! We split our attack there in the beginning. I thought we were gonna all in Tristana, but apparently we were doing a lot of damage to Braum. So we're like, okay, we switched targets. But by then he barely gets away. Maybe if we focused him first, it would have been good. Or I focused him. Oh, did you guys see that box placement? Look at this. Look at this block right here. This is called skill. Ready? Look at this. Can't see him? Fuck that shit. Get it out of here, boy. Get it out of here. Not on my rift. Besides the stay, here comes the fiddlesticks. The little fear. Uh, and then they kind of just like run off into the distance. I didn't see what happened to Cog. I saw Viego flash get pinged. So maybe he came in. I had like no mana this entire fight. I was saving. I could either put a box down or I can Q. So it's like a, trying to see what's going on. Here comes the jump in, the rocket, and there's the Viego flash. We stepped up a little too much. No worries. They end up getting dragon. Uh, they end up killing our top in mid. And then I die at some point over here. Oh yeah, uh, I got... Um, I thought I had a little bit more space in here. I tried to put the exhaust on Tristana right here. But it didn't go off, so I turned around to go back in. And I got stun ignited, so I was dead either way. I did have ult, but I was pretty sure I was dead. So I was just, fuck it, who cares. Over here, Galio gets a kill with the help of Fiddlesticks, and Renekton kills our Gangplank yet again. Damn, big damage didn't go nowhere. That was pretty close. Oh, okay, that was, that was actually pretty close. Alright, so I felt like we should have had this damn dragon. They're running around over here with Galio. I'm trying to zone out their jungler because I know he's just gonna smite steal this shit. Got the clone on him. Yasuo is killing all my fucking boxes so there goes my defense. 
he he must not have flash. Hold on, I'm confused. The the dragon was at 800 HP, so if his smite right there, he has plenty of time. Look at this, he has plenty of time to smite that dragon. So he must not have smite when he started this. Hmm. I guess it was a bad call on us as a team or him. I'm not sure. I felt like we I was pinging it because it was pretty much free when they were chasing Galio over here. And it technically is right now, but he doesn't have fucking smite. So, dude flashes in. <laughs> he dies for it. Oh, come in with the exhaust. Get an auto. Get the kill with the ignite. Alright, so let's see. Gangplank actually gets a kill. So this is when it starts to turn for top. Renekton started to go downhill. He dies there. Where are we at? Renekton, after that death, he tries to come in like pull some little cheesy shit on me. But you know, I'm the master of cheese. Boom. How do you like that, son? Decides to stay. Insta regret. Boom, hit him with the Everfrost root. Nowhere to go. The slow, the flash comes out. Max. Maximum value from that flash. Right guys? Maximum. And of course, I throw up the dubs. The uh, champion level 2. Whatever. It is. So I'm going in here, play some wards. Clear some wards if I found any. Rom tries to get me there. Get away. Alright, so yeah, again, they, they are turning the tides. We get this tower and kill him yet again. Starting to get pretty powerful. Pretty good ult, I'll say. On our side. I think I get a root here, maybe? Oh, I just missed her. But I still get the fear in. I would have preferred the root. And then we back. Now we back at it. And I just want to pause so we can take a look at the weapons and the score. 2 4, 3 3, 0 2, 2 0. Jungle is doing better. 4 3, 3 3, 2 0, oh, 1 2, 0 1, 1 1. So we're all pretty even right here. He also is a slightly fed in comparison to the rest of our team. But we have COG for the scaling, so it is no big aroni. There we go. This is questionable. I, I ping like they had all kinds of flashes here. But we come in, place the box, line up, get the double root. Cogmaw peels that one. Clone failed me on this one. Not right there. Even though I felt like that should have been through. Right here, he just stops when I get rooted. Look at him. Like, bro, come on. I had to, like, ping him to go out, and by the time it happened, just a smidge too late. Oh, my God. If he would have just kept running, I probably could have lived there. I mean, because look how close that was. Right there, he stops. I'm like, come on, bro. And then he just comes in like a sec. I could have had him rubber band right here in front of them then explode and I probably could have got away so that one pissed me off I was like whatever yeah so it gets a kill on Kong uh, we're pinging dragon Kong decided to stay so if he dies gets, gets the shutdown uh, and then we pretty much give this because we can't do anything without Kong so what's going on here oh this was uh, kind of sloppy this is that miscommunication <laughs> but they managed to pick it up, I guess. Fortunately, Diego's right there to clean that ass up. <laughs> Damn, he's so fast. Put the whole damn squad on him. Death. Alrighty, let's see, let's see. So here we go, Brom. We saw him way back here come up because of our ward there. Got overzealous. 
land that backstab right at the last second and pick up that kill. Uh, GP trying to steal it from me. Little asshole. Well, uh, okay, I'll take that back. Probably not a little asshole. Because uh, if he did not die, I would have been pissed. Come back here. Place some wards. Again, we have our ward right there, I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. We had a ward somewhere. They must have killed it. But I'm like, I know they're in there, so I go place my, my pink there. Oh, look at that lockdown. Oh, my God. You guys don't know how hard I won this fight. I rooted his ass in place. On top of Glacial Ox, so they do 15% reduced damage. Clean. Look at that. They're in a perfect line right there. I got all of them with that raid. Well, it was mostly Yasuo and uh, Diego. But she's standing on the raid too. So 15% reduced damage. Comes the alt big time. wreck a -roni. If I've ever seen one. We're on the hunt. Get this little shit. Throw the E so he can't run. But he still has flash. Not sadly. Kaw going in. Flash. To get it. Boom. Good fucking fight. So as you can see, Gangplank gets a tower. He's split, splitting pretty well. While we're over here, doing nothing. While I'm clearing wards. He dies. Splitting. Let's pause and take a look at the stats now. 3-5. So I think he got one kill and another death. Now 5-5. Five, five. So he's taking, he's getting pretty strong. Got two more kills. Uh, surged up in kills, but Cog is right behind her. And then I got two kills. And as you can see, I got my Everfrost. Champions rooted nine. Holy shit, that's pretty good. And then I'm building towards Knight's Vow. So when I have a Cog ADC, I like to go Knight's Vow to put that on him. And then I just continue to get a little bit more tankier and address the threat. So I could go Athena's Chains. In this case, I end up going towards Thornmail. Uh, just because they have so much AD, 480 champions, plus if Braum hits me, you know, they're going to get the anti-reduction, anti-healing, which is good on essentially all three of them, uh, uh, these top three. But I also become tankier to survive longer. So we're doing a back and forth dance. Like, we know they're there, but we want Dragon. Renekton gets dominated. Ends up leaving. We'll watch this. We'll watch this fight. I think Galio goes in. Never mind. I go in. <laughs> well, he goes in harder. Ooh, the clone dies. Pops yet again another perfect glacial hog. To shut them down. This is why it's really good against melee champs. I go in, get those knight. Was not expecting that damage to come out. Ooh, good hourglass. Here comes Yasuo. Here we go. I was like, fuck it. Get away from my cup. Good fucking dodge. I exhaust with the slow. Here we go. We push back. Wait for him to come forward. He doesn't want to go forward. We go over to him. Get the root. There's nowhere to go. But to hell, you piece of shit. And then we slowly take this Baron. I'm pretty sure. Alrighty, now we come into the end of the match. Here's my Knight's Vow. Do I have it? Right there. Boom. 11 rooted champions. So I kind of wanted a siege because we could just sit here with my boxes and cog. They can't really. They have to engage on us. They can't do anything. They don't have that poke. They got three champions that, you know, melee that want to go in. So we, we had a good setup here. But for some reason, we want to fight on a ward over here. <laughs> I'm like, guys, come on. Let's get, let's get centered right here. We have the siege potential. And it's just kind of, like, weird. It goes down so fast. That while I'm over here playing the game... 
Let's see here. We got that set up with the boxes. Kind of protecting Cog if he wants to run. Got you. And I can be in front. Just as long as he's doing damage, I'm getting some HP back. Block a little bit of damage. Q in. Get both in his all in hibs down. They're looking for something. Vigo comes in from the top insta death. Out of desperation. I pop my clone to go get Tristana off the minions. He comes and gets exhausted right on a box. Let's watch that again. Baiting right here. Boom. Boom right into it. Throw up the deuces yet again. Uh, we'll try to end here. It doesn't work. Yeah, so it gets on my butt. This cog's all the way over here, so I didn't get that healing. But he puts him down on the ground. Boom, takes him. That knock up. 900 gold to the Yasuo. We had this fight. Ooh, I got her in the back. Cog arrives to lay down the smack it down with. Viego non existent in the game. Clone. Gets the fear. We come in. He went over the inhibitor. Throws the E at Tristana. Gets knocked up, but guess what? I got a root waiting for somebody. He hits the box. Oh. And we chuck him up with a victory, guys. Let's let's check out these stats real quick. Can we check the stats? No, you can't check the stats. I'll do it afterwards. We'll put it up on the screen. Oh wait, damage reduced right there. 2500. Good lord, that's a lot of damage reduced. Holy shit. That's the game. So this is a game where Shaco really excels these melee champions. Oh my goodness. Especially if they have to like engage. You should have a good time. Especially with Cog too. He's a really good support uh, ADC to have. We shut him down. Alrighty guys. Catch you guys in another video. Peace.